La serie más icónica de todos los tiempos, Breaking Bad, cumplió 15 años. Esta producción única que se convirtió en un fenómeno cultural fue galardonada con más de 150 premios, destacándose con 16 premios Emmy y 2 Globo de Oro, redefiniendo así el drama televisivo. Esta se emitió en más de 170 países, ha sido referenciada por numerosas películas, series de televisión y otros medios de entretenimiento. Y como celebración, Annie incluye en su programación para revivir la historia completa de lunes a viernes a a partir del 29 de mayo. En una rueda de prensa, su creador y director Vince Gilligan nos reveló varias curiosidades. 15 years ago I thought gosh, the best that can come out of this is I make one episode, one pilot episode. I never in my wildest dreams uh, imagined that that this show exist at all, let alone be a big hit. It makes me feel like I won the lottery. I'm so proud of the ending of Breaking Bad that that is the reason I am reluctant to go back to Breaking Bad. It's that I am afraid to because I don't want to mess up people's memories. I'm very happy and lucky and proud to say Breaking Bad ended that people are still coming, new new audiences co are coming to the show and people watch it more than once. That That is the highest praise of all to me. But the most important secret ingredient that that breaking bad became what it what it became is because of Brian Cranston the actor who plays Walter White he is the perfect person in the entire world to play this role he made this character sympathizable he made him likable the the chemistry between Walter White and and Aaron Paul is i think it's the secret ingredient to the show i wish i knew how to repeat it I feel like it's time for me to do something different than Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Not because I don't love them, but because I want to see if I can do it again. I want, as in, I want to see if I can come up with something new and have people like it. When I created the first episode of Breaking Bad, I had in my mind that if we got a whole first season, that we would kill off Jesse Pinkman at the beginning of the first season. Because I thought, he's just this knucklehead guy, this guy who is not, you know, he just, he's, just a, he's just a character to get us into the story. And he will have served his purpose by the end of the first season, and then we'll kill him off. And that'll be dramatic, because then Walter White is mad, and he wants revenge on the person who killed his partner. It'll be good drama. We loved Aaron Paul so much after the first episode that we said to, I said to myself, there's no way I'm going to kill this guy off. That's the funny thing about TV and the thing I love, the thing that's simultaneously scary, but also exciting. Did I have all of these things in mind? Did the characters turn out the way I originally intended them? No, I had no idea that half of them would even survive the series. Some of the others I thought might go all the way to the end, but they died off sooner. Working on it all those years as a writer was tough because it became difficult to see the world through Walter White's eyes. But I was driving through Burbank, California, heading home, and I pulled up at a stoplight, and all of a sudden I had this fear that the car next to me was just going to shoot at me. And there was, it was irrational. There was no reason to think it. It was just some... And I was so in Walter White's head, and so, so in, in such a way that at, you know, when the show ended, I was sad, but I was also kind of relieved it was like taking a weight off me what was your overall experience working with me i remember hearing you say isn't this great <laughs> and i thought oh i like this kid oh. that if you can keep that for the rest of your career if that's the barometer mm -hmm. for how your work goes that we always appreciate how lucky we are and uh it's been a pleasure working with you Same, man. You're like a, you're like a son. Uh, I love you. I, I love you too, man. I miss you. Uh, no, it's not over. It's over. I know it's over. Damn it. Y ustedes fueron de los que se vieron esta serie completica, si no se la han visto, déjenme saber en los comentarios qué tal les pareció, por qué les enganchó, todo lo que me quieran compartir yo los voy a estar leyendo. Y como Maritza Arisa se los garantiza aquí como siempre con la mejor información de la cultura y el entretenimiento. Ni siquiera fuma. ¿Recuerdas ese laboratorio de pruebas? ¿Todos esos químicos con los que trabajas? Por Dios, esta vez por lo que paso. 
¿Y tú le temes a la quimioterapia? Tal vez quiera morir como un hombre, ¿de acuerdo? ¡Y yo no quiero que se muera! Lo siento, elijo no hacerlo. 